Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? I want to show you today uh, one of the Clemens Pulsar. Uh, do a small review and measure the power output from it and show you what uh, this machine is capable of. So, we're looking at Clemens uh, SP1 uh, model here. You get a few things with it. Um, Anyway, we're gonna review the pulser. This one here. It's got kind of long cable, I'd say like about 15 feet. I coiled it up and it's uh, <clears throat> it's been connected via looks like a audio plug um, either a speaker or or like a microphone plug and um, these plugs um, don't not not rated for high power that's something to know not ice then it comes with adapter here and basically it's a converse between different connectors so I have my meter here, it's connected uh, to the line and it's reading 120 volts. Also I have my Tesla meter here, it's set here to pick up the highest value in a DC pulse and its uh, range here is a 1 Tesla and can measure to up to 3 Tesla here. This is... Uh, 5180 um, Tesla meter bell instrument company and so we're gonna take some measurements from this unit so I've been playing a little bit with this and <clears throat> seems like it has a high and low speed and it seems like pretty simple to operate let's on off now it's on and we'll switch to low position and we'll turn um, speed all the way down uh, we'll measure at the lowest output and then we'll go to the highest output and we'll do the same on a high settings so let's measure on the lowest output seems like it's pulsing two pulses a second and so let's take a measurement see what we get i'm gonna place a me uh, my probe above the coil here right there the highest output is it's about 250 gas in the lowest um in the lowest setting in the lowest speed so let's raise the speed and right now we're probably like 20 hertz 18 20 hertz sounds like and so let's reset the volume here to zero and take a measurement again okay seems like the power output stayed the same about 250 gas power output here and so let's switch to <clears throat> high output this is high speed actually not high output and so let's go to the lowest setting which is about the same about 20 hertz let's reset the volume here and take a measurement again so you can see the okay seems like we're getting the same power about 250 gas in um, in the high speed on the lowest and let's raise the highest and I can say this is like a hundred Hertz around a hundred Hertz maybe 120 Hertz I might be wrong maybe 80 Hertz sounds like around 100 Hertz all right so let's reset a meter and take a measurement again and we are getting the same power 
so on all different speeds we're we're getting about 250 gas at the highest and uh, seems like this unit might have I'm gonna turn it off and give you a couple words on my own uh, about this unit actually weighs probably uh, like six seven pounds uh, not light uh, kind of heavy machine uh, does have output most likely for the colloidal silver here on the side and here is the handle wire is pretty soft probably 18 gauge 18 gauge or something um, comes with a stand and the coil weighs uh, probably two and a half pounds it's made out of seems like a copper I can see from from the side here and it's got like three millimeter um, lids on the sides also there is a hole through in the middle of the coil all right well as a pole sir um, <clears throat> it's 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 okay made I'd say uh, the only thing is um, it seems to be a kind of low on the output um, I don't know here on the internet right now I can't see um, how much it's outputting as uh, it doesn't get advertised here but somewhere I read that it's outputting like over two Tesla which is you guys see and it's only outputting 0 0.025 Tesla which is only 250 gus um, also very quick I'm gonna put um, aluminum foil and we'll see if it's if it's gonna move so let's uh, power up and we'll go in a lower setting and you guys see it's not even moving coil a uh, foil at all so just want to show you Clement pulser and seems to be a pretty weak unit if you're okay with only 250 gas then it's a unit for you guys so cost around a thousand bucks a little less than that uh, $800 or something 845 Australian dollars not sure how much it's in US but anyway 